Hello, my name's Marek Stiles, and I'm the head of audio products at Abbey Road Studios. And I'm Peter Cobbin, the senior recording engineer at Abbey Road Studios. And we're here to talk about the Waves Abbey Road Red plugin. When Red was set up in 1955, one of the first tasks was to create a new generation of mixing console for EMI Studios. Um, up until that point, mixing consoles were incredibly basic. Uh, but in 1957, this beast here came out, the Red 17. But EMI mixing consoles didn't have faders before this. Um, it had EQ on every single channel. It had uh, echo sends on the mix channels. It's amazing to think that everything on this desk is driven by a valve amplifier, its own unique valve amplifier. There's 24 valve amps that go into the side of this. And of course, this is the classic Siemens V72 yeah. amplifiers. It was actually us who blew the dust off this. So it was, you know, it had been around for a while and not used and forgotten about. And I can remember you actually uh, putting some music through it. I think you were just running some CDs through it. And it was just one of those kind of moments that, I mean, as an engineer, you tend to remember these sorts of things. Mm. It was just the sound of this CD going through two mm -hmm. channels of this mm -hmm. desk. And it's just this most glorious kind of, I guess you'd describe it as a warmth, um, and, and just this sort of lovely velvet type sound that, that was coming out. Yeah, you've got, you've got a valve amp on the input stage, and then you've got an inter valve amp and then an output valve amp. So that's three sets of V72s you're going through. Um, just to hear you, just to hear your signal. Mm. So, and obviously you can drive those V72s mm. in uh, as much as you want in those different stages. So this was the Red 17, the introduction to two other desks, the Red 37 and the Red 51. We've got two equalizers that actually popped into the, the 37 and the 51. Uh, that was pop and classical, they were your two flavours of, of equalisation. Understandably, the classical recordings in Studio One on the 37 use the classical EQ. Yep, that's correct, and, and the pop guys in two and three would use the, the pop EQ. But you, you could interchange them. Um, and the only difference really between um, the, the Red 37 and the Red 51 was a difference in these valve amplifiers. Now, when the RED department came to make the RED 51, they, they were briefed basically to develop their own amplifiers. We don't want to use the Siemens anymore, not because they didn't sound good, but because they're actually quite pricey. Mm. Can we make our own, bring the costs down and make them the desk? So off the back of that, the, the RED 47 preamp came about. It gave the desk a completely new flavour. And, and it's, it's great to have that on the plug-in. Absolutely. So you can hear the differences when you switch between the um, what's the amplifiers that is driving it. Yeah, so on the plug-in you've, you've got the, the Red 17 flavour, which is the, the basic one, but still a great flavour. And then you've got the Red 37 and Red 51 in a separate plug-in, which allows you to change the EQs from pop to um, classical, and you can change from the V72 amplifier or use the Red 47 amp. I really like using the drive function. Uh, I've been using it a lot when I mix, just putting it in sort of the front end of my tracks. And it just gives this wonderful front end to the sound, a little bit of uh, distortion, which I love, and kind of just body into the sound. So it's kind of a, a little technique that, without sort of doing too much, just kind of, you know, transforms the sound with coming in my digital tracks. This is my favourite plug-in. You know, engineers are often kind of hard to kind of pin down as because we need all sorts of plugins for different tools. But if I actually had to say what is my favourite plugin and my go-to on top of the list it would actually be the plugin of this desk.